And now let's get to a story that just keeps on surprising us at every turn. Current city commissioner and mayoral candidate Carmen Rubio's dreadful driving record and the fallout since it was reported by the Oregonian earlier this month. In case you've been living in a bunker, the Oregonian found that over the past 20 years, Rubio has racked up 150 parking and traffic violations, which led to having her license suspended six different times. And for a major contender to be Portland's next mayor, things cannot get any worse, right? Oh, yes, they can. Just days after that initial report came out, Rubio was caught on a Tesla security video bumping in and apparently scraping the car while pulling into a parking spot. The video obtained by the Oregonian then shows her walking away without leaving a note. Blair Best tracked down Rubio today at City Hall to ask her about her driving record and this latest run in with the Tesla. So I did what most people would do. Um, you know, I when I as soon as I learned that I had um, dinged the car, I left a note and called immediately and offered to pay or to go through insurance. So I did what most people typically do in that situation, and that's that's the best I can do. So you did leave a note. I called. There was a note on the car. I called immediately as soon as I got back to my car and saw the note. Again, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, but. You know, I put that away, you know, and resolved all those, took accountability, resolved all those things years ago. And um, that was during a different part of my life. It was when it, things were hard. And um, yeah, I'm moving forward. Learn for those lessons, take accountability, and moving forward. All right, well, here's my opinion on this. The only reason any of this matters is because Carmen Rubio wants to lead the city of Portland as our next mayor. If you want us, the voters, to trust you, we expect you to act with integrity and accountability. It's as simple as that, and that goes for all the candidates. Hitting someone else's car and walking away with a quick glance does not show accountability or integrity. How can we believe any campaign promise or vision of the future from someone who's lacking in those two ingredients? Last night, Rubio's campaign put out a long email trying to convince the public that she is actually the victim here. They no doubt believe the reaction from the Tesla owner is an effort to take advantage of Rubio's public status. And I got to say, I don't blame you at the campaign for doing that. It has been an awful week for you when it comes to Rubio's parking and driving record. And any distraction would be better than the facts. Now you've got this. So, yeah, I get that it's been a bad week for her. But Rubio is clearly not the victim here. She did the action that created the problem. She scraped another car as she pulled into a parking spot in her car, and then she walked away. That's really gonna be something for voters to think about when they decide who they want to trust to lead the city of Portland.